Good morning. Today is Thursday, March 12th, and you can see I put stuff back on the table last night, and I did wipe the table off first before putting it back. It's, you know, still a little, you know, messy, but it's better than it was because I threw stuff on this table when I was in the office, so, yeah, it's not as messy, and on the computer desk, in the office, the two bottom drawers have um, hanging folders. So one side, I'm thinking of putting my magazine images and stuff. I have to um, go through some more that I went through. You know, I picked through the magazines to tell what I like. I have to separate them into categories. And then I got to do the same thing for some of these. And once I separate them, then I'll put them in... Um, the hanging folders. On the other side, I want to try and see if uh, my stencils will fit, like the 12 by 12 ones. Um, they fit, that would be great. And then hopefully I'll remember to use some of this stuff. You know, be in hands reach now. Well, the collage fodder and stencils and stuff. Um, some of the books, you know, I would like to keep them by me but I don't have room right now. So, because um, the butterfly I usually use for um, collage and stuff, I haven't used in a while. And I have a rose book um, that's in my closet in the bedroom that I should put you know, over by me, but I haven't, because I haven't really done anything. I'm slowly trying to get back into it. I'm hoping, you know, I can, you know, get back to the swing of things. You know, making cards, because, you know, I have some of the Jilly Nutting stuff already stamped and put picture, you know, put the paper on and stuff. Not that I'll send anything, any cards out, because I haven't done it in a couple of years. Not that I have gotten anything in a couple of years, but anyway. <laughs> So, well, I'm, try, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. And um, what you don't see is the webcam that I put by the computer and the monitor along with the tripod I put somewhere. I don't remember where I put it, but it's over there. I'm not that I'm going to be filming any art videos anytime soon, but that's where the camera is right now. And yesterday, or last night, I finished half of the diamond painting. So I'm liking how it looks so far. And, um, you know, I have two diamond paintings I have framed. I'm thinking putting one over here where the George Brett picture is that I gave my mom years ago. And none of the, um, Painting diamond paintings fit in that frame. I've tried <laughs> along with um, that one over there. Both of these I got at a craft show um, back in Chicago. And yeah, definitely, you know, even matted, not matted, they don't fit that frame. I might try again though, <laughs> looking at my stuff. Because yeah. there's lots that I want to get framed that I have done. So, today's the supposedly um, the meeting, you know, the Bream Group meeting. I don't know if I want to go. Not that I'm afraid, <laughs> you know, the coronavirus and stuff, but um, I don't know if I'm going to have a ride or not, and I really don't want to spend seven dollars and change to go there because that's what it cost me the last time um, last week so I want to go <laughs> and I don't know if there's going to be a lot of people this week because last week there was like a dozen of us and who knows now with um, stuff being cancelled last night and stuff it's scary times. I'm trying not to stress myself out. 
especially since I, like, I still, you know, I've been coughing, but, you know, but that's because of the stuff in my throat. And I don't want people to get the idea that I, you know, have it, because I don't, knock on wood. But anyway, so I moved my peep Funko Pop over here, because it is springtime, Easter, you know, Passover. Well, that's still next month, but I have them out now. And, yeah, nothing else too exciting going on. So I'm going to end it here. I have the vlog from yesterday on the camera, so I'm going to go do that. Upload it to the computer and fill, do that right now. So I'll see you guys later. Good morning. Today is Friday, March 13th. And I did not, yesterday I did not go out at all. Um, I didn't even text the person that usually picks me up for the meeting if she was going or she could pick me up because the last couple weeks she couldn't pick me up so I'm like why bother and then my anxiety has been kicking kicked up a bunch yesterday with the news coming out of the police the last couple of days but yesterday really kicked up my anxiety with all the sporting events being suspended or canceled you know basketball football, XFL um, Baseball, hockey, soccer. Not that I'm a big sports nut, but the announcement and other things being um, canceled and stuff, you know, really pushed my anxiety up. And plus, I was getting emails yesterday from Smith Center, which is a theater, and RC Rally Furniture Store, um, some restaurants like Denny's, Girl Lobster. In Cinemark with the theater, uh, how they're dealing with the with the virus going on, and that kicked, <laughs> kicked the anxiety up. And another thing about not wanting to go out is because um, um well, I'm not wanting to get sick, get the virus. Not that I, but not that I'm going to. But anyway, um, because the you know the thick mucus junk in my throat over the last couple of days. I'm coughing trying to you know get it out I don't want people to think that you know I'm coming down with it so you know stay home and I've been drinking water and tea and, and gargling and it's still there and I thought about making an appointment for today but it's like listening to the news it's like no don't if <laughs> so I'm like I don't know what to do about that cause I don't know why it keeps happening, and it doesn't help that it's happening around now with this virus going on. So yeah, a little stressed, but um, yesterday I added, I scanned some artwork that I've done in, when I first got here and took that um, art journaling class, classes. Um, so I scanned those in and I put them up on my Redbubble and um, Sidey6. Most of them I did. I tried to scan a, one piece of art, but because it's, you know, 3D, lumpy bumpy, it really didn't scan very well. It was a little blurry. So I tried scanning it again and since I moved this back over here after my mom passed, because it was over there, because, um, you know, the hospital bed was here. As, ever since I moved it, I've been having trouble once in a while about having it connect to the computer. So I usually have to turn it off and turn it back on again to reboot it, and it works. And it, that's because I tried doing this again, and that happened, so I haven't done it again. So I, you know, scanned the stuff, blew it up so it can, you know, most of this stuff can um, work on the products on Redbubble and Society6. I will have to go back, I forget what site, um, I have to go back to GIMP to resize some of the, a lot of the stuff so it can fit on a lot of more products, I, I think, um, Society6, no, Redbubble. Bubble. 
I think. One of the two had, you know, some of the stuff wouldn't fit. That size that I scaled it to wouldn't fit on some of the products, so I wanted to do that. I don't know when I'll do it in the mood to do that, but I'm going to do that. And, yeah, and yesterday I watched, because um, we have a free preview weekend with HBO and Cinemax, so I watched something on there, and I don't remember what I watched. <laughs> Oy. But, um, oh, I watched Sergeant, it's a cartoon that I had saved, marked on Amazon Prime video, but I couldn't watch it because you need to have the HBO subscription on here. But, um, Sergeant, Sergeant Stubby, and that was really cute. It's based on a true story and fact-based animated story. You know, it was really cute. And there's a couple other things I want to watch during the weekend um, on HBO. A couple of documentaries that I want to watch. I remember before the weekend is up. And then on, Net on Disney Plus, I watched Winnie the Pooh to get my mind off of stuff. <laughs> and then I watched another movie. And then I watched Big Bang Theory and Project One, the end of Project One Way. And listen to podcasts and stuff. So that's what I did yesterday. Today, I am going out. I Earlier this week, um, the people in the group, I think it was Friday she told me about it, about this um, belly dancing thing at the library, and some of them were going and going to eat before and then going, so I said yes to that, and we're, you know, going to eat before the thing, and I guess it's still on because she texted me yesterday about it. No, she texted me Wednesday about it. And then yesterday, her other half texted me about who's picking me up to go meet them. So, yeah. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And then Sunday is sushi, so yay, I can't wait. <laughs> And yeah, and so that's about it for right now. Enough rambling. So see you guys later. So I brought out the laptop so I can sit in the living room and do some Amazon Turks, you know, sort of working and watching a documentary on HBO. We have the free preview preview weekend. And um, I got a call a little while ago. The event. The belly dancing thing I was going to go to with some people from group, they canceled it because of the coronavirus. And she asked if I went to the meeting last night, and I said no. And she goes, that's probably a good thing because, you know, they, I guess they say to stay away from hospitals. And um, so she just texted me, too, about um, somebody that, went to the meeting, or goes to the meetings, there's like, you know, three a week, they're thinking about canceling the meetings for the couple, next few weeks, you know, which sort of makes sense, because, you know, last Thursday, there was 12 people, and she said, um, that somebody said there was 10 people who was at the meeting, who were at the meeting last night, so if I went, there would have been 11, so, it kind of makes sense, though, you know, for me, besides going to, like, the grocery store or Walgreens, you know, regular errands, that's not really a social gathering, but, um, Thursdays, going to the meetings is my only way to get, be out with other people, well, besides going to house, you know, house seats, but I'm talking about, like, meeting people, you know, Meeting people and stuff, that's my 
Thursdays and Sundays and generally where I go out to with people, you know. So that's kind of, you know, sucks about that. But, you know, there's still Sunday. So yay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. You know, no huggy, no hate, shake hands or anything, but that's how it goes. And then she asked if I need anything, if I'm you know, all right for like two weeks and, you know, being isolated, <laughs> you know. And I said, yeah, because I said I went Tuesday to um, Winco and got some more stuff. So I should be okay. I don't know about milk or eggs, but, you know, I'll be okay. But, yeah. <sighs> Stressful times. Stressful times. Sort of glad I don't have a job because if I stay home, worrying about money. Well, I'm still worrying about money because I don't have a job, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner because I was planning on going out. I figure something out. So anyway, I'm going to continue working and watching TV and all that stuff. And see you guys later. Well, I got another phone call from them. Sunday's been canceled. Gosh darn it. Because a lot of them are over 60 and they shouldn't really be out because of this. So, yeah. Sucks for me. Well, sex for them too, but... Kind of disappointing. Oh well. Back to whatever. So, so it's around 5.30. I stopped doing Amazon Turks around 5. I did about 26 jobs. Um, if all get approved today, what I did today, $1.33. But anyway, um, I stopped around 5 because I wanted to figure out what I was going to have for dinner. I really didn't want to cook or warm anything up that I had here. You know, because, you know, I was supposed to go out and that changed. Thank you, coronavirus. So I was going to, I was thinking about ordering out, but with the cost of what I, you know, the meal itself and then delivery fee and service fee, I was like, no don't want to and granted um uber eats there's like a certain number of places where you can get free delivery you know if they have people out delivering food you can you know get it from delivery the delivery fee free but still you have to spend like ten dollars on your order and that's kind of hard if you get like if you want mcdonald's or burger king you know, it's just for you. You're not going to spend $10 on fast food. <laughs> That's silly. Or some other places that are under $10 for yourself. But you, and you still have the service fee and everything. And then DoorDash, you have to, um, there's certain places, first time ordering, you can do, but you have to spend $15, and again, I'm one person, granted there's some meals that are, you know, over, you know, <laughs> or over that certain amount and be no problem, but you got service fees and all that stuff, and it's like, no, and in Grubhub, there's service fees, and you have to spend at least $10 or whatever, on that and it's you know sometimes it's not worth it especially when you're one person so I scrunched around the freezer and I made Trader Joe's Japanese fried rice I had about half of it and then I'm still hungry but I put the rest back because I wanted to save it for tomorrow for dinner and I took out the chicken tenders that I got at one call the other day Monday I got these so I'm gonna um, when they're defrosted I'm gonna cut them up into bits and um, fry them or cook them up in um, I have an electric skillet I'm gonna 
cook it up that way, or maybe I'll put it in the oven. I'm thinking electric skillet and I can use um, teriyaki sauce and all that. Do a little stir fry in a way and mix it in with the rice. And then for Sunday, I took out the leftover pot roast that I made a few weeks back. And I'll probably have that with the asparagus. This thing threw at me for a loop for meals. Because, <laughs> you know, Sunday was supposed to go out. And that's canceled. It's not like I don't have food. But, you know, and I can always go to the store. You know, I'm healthy enough. Knock on, knock on wood. <laughs> and um, one co posted on Instagram and Facebook that they're cutting back their hours, which is it? Because there, some of the windows are 24 hours, at least here it is, and the one by me that just opened is 24 hours. So they're closing at midnight and reopening at five or from midnight to 5 a.m. they're closing and cleaning the store and restocking everything so you know they'll have everything you know already for the next day so and that's not that far but but I'm okay for now with food but yeah and I really don't want to spend anything anymore um, with the debit till my next money comes in in about a few days from now so when I was talking to or texting with the people from group I about it I go well at least I saved some money and she's like yeah that's true but yet here I mean here I am thinking about ordering out So that's not really saving money. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm going to end it here. Um, I did watch, after the, the Inventor documentary, I watched Mommy Dead. I don't remember if I mentioned that documentary. And then I started watching the first episode of McMillian. I had to find it because <laughs> that one is hard to find because it's actually a series and not a documentary movie. So, and I started watching the Beatles documentary, one of the Beatles documentaries that are, is on Hulu. That one was okay. And yeah, trying to stay away from the news, but it's kind of hard when you're on social media, Facebook and Twitter, because that's what they also talk about. And yeah, so that's it for today. See you guys later.